So, Gaffey, you wanted a response on Monday. I think it's fair to say you got that this afternoon. I didn't want a response on Monday. That's the standard we've been playing at in every game. Playing loads of chances. Um, I think what's just important that standards are there to be adhered to. And I just thought at times against Maidenhead on Monday, you know, we, we created enough chances to win two games. We were a little bit sloppy in our defending, but on several occasions today we were a little bit sloppy at times as well. They had a good chance just before half time and a good chance at the end, which would have killed our clean sheet. But look, the players' attitude has been spot on. I can't question them. I know the performance levels have been very high. Um, we now find ourselves on two points per game after six games, and we find ourselves plus six. I still personally believe we should be more, and I, I don't want to keep harping on about that, but all in all, look, fantastic day for everybody. To win seven on this division uh, is never easy, and I think we've all got to enjoy it, especially our supporters. Yeah, I guess you could say it's one of those sort of complete performances from everyone from start to finish. You know, there's no, like you said, maybe a couple of chances of time, but apart from that, complete performance. Yeah, I think we could have scored more. Um, I don't want to be disrespectful to the opposition. I know how hard it is. I've been here before. I've gone to Wrexham and lost by six. I've been to Dagenham and been 5-0 down when I had a much lesser group of players. So I know how hard it is coming up. I think they've done brilliant, by the way, Andy and his team, to come up and do what they've done over the last two years. And then when you get up to this division, they, they were in every game for the first five games. We knew how important it was today to come back on their pitch, make it slick. It was very sticky, the, the pitch in the first half, but slick our second half. That made us score more goals, basically. Um, the special mention for me is for Brunty, his attitude, his application. Everyone knows I love him. Um, and I've asked him, I've said this, and he scored his goal against Forest Green. We've walked on it. We watch videos together. He loves the game. That's what he's so infectious. I said if he scores goals, he will go on and have a proper career in this game. And he's starting to do that now. Yeah, I guess uh, practically after every game of the season, we've sort of stood here and gone, oh, we've never found those killer second and third goals. And today we've got seven of them. Yeah, look, like I say, look, it, 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 listen, there's a goal in both squads. It, look, we know that, so we've shown that today. Um, so, look, all in all, I think we're a good team performed. Some fantastic goals, really good team goals. Um, lots of penetration to our play. And it, it does help with the multi-ball and, you know, we can keep balls coming in and we can keep the tempo of the game. That helps. Pitch, like I say, a little bit sticky first half, but second half much better. They watered it at half time. It was better for us, so we were able to move it quicker. We put Wilco on. He's made his debut. Joe Roy's made his debut. Um, sorry, Wilco's already made his debut. He did at uh, uh, Sorry, uh, Ebsley. But I taught Joe Roy today. Young kid. He's got a bright future in the game as well. He was outstanding as well. So we managed to use the squad really well today. Yeah, you mentioned sort of young Joe Ryan playing in the, in the defence there. A clean sheet as well on top of that. Yeah, he, he's just, he just reads the game really well. He's just a little bit green for the level. He just needs more games at the level. Tiny bit green for it. But, you know, the only way they're going to get it is by giving them minutes. I thought he'd come in today and was outstanding. Um, we know, obviously, Danny's still out injured, so that's an issue for us. Big Addy's back today, which is a bonus. You see how well he can defend. Um, so, yeah, look, for young Joe, I thought it was a really seasoned... He just looked like a seasoned player, really. Uh, he's got so much to give this kid. He's technically excellent. He's got a really good uh, IQ. And we've got some fantastic players in that position now. Gate said is next up next Saturday. Certainly a thriller on paper. So how would you sort of preview going into that one? We always have good games with Gatehead, you know, here last year, up there last year, there's always some kind of drama. They did the double over us last year, to be fair to them. Um, similar to ourselves, they're very well coached, they play on the front foot, they play creative football. Um, They've got fantastic movement, so we've, we've played them a lot over the, over the last few years, so it'll be an intriguing game, a game we can't wait to, uh, and we're looking forward to it. Um, I think the main thing for us is, is to make sure we keep to them standards, keep it doing to them in training this week and then go into that game. But we've got to enjoy this weekend. How many times have Barnett won 7-0 in the National League? I don't think it's happened much, so I think it's a, it's a great day for all our supporters and everyone at the football club. Yeah, and finally, Dean, I'm sure this will be one of the main talking points from, from this afternoon's game, the, uh, the lucky green top. Have you fallen out with it? <laughs> nah, no, we got beaten. Uh, we won against Wimbledon, I was wearing it. Um, and then we won three on the bounce, I was wearing it. There's all mad things that go through managers and football players' heads, and it was always the same when there was a player as well. So it's just little things like that. It's funny, but we've changed it. We've got some new clothing this week, so hopefully we'll probably stay in this for the next few weeks. Yeah, Please, yeah. God, we can go on a run again. Yeah, you found your new one. Yeah, thanks for your time, Dave. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks.